Welcome back everyone for another fast meal prep hack. So in this video, we're going to do some sloppy joes. That's right, some sloppy joes. It's going to be some delicious sandwiches we're going to make today. So this is going to be fast, simple, and easy. First thing I'm going to do is get some uh, Beyond Meat. This is a great beef alternative, okay? So if you're looking for things to replace beef and get out the saturated fat, get out all that um, cholesterol out of your diet, I highly recommend get some Beyond Meat beefless crumbles, okay? Now, I already grabbed some mushrooms. This is great for vitamin D as well. I'm going to grab the whole wheat bun, okay? I only got one of those for today. Also, we're going to get some onions, okay? And they're already pre chopped up, but they're the onions that I have is the yellow onions, okay? The yellow onions, these are the ones I'm using today. And for now, we're just going to go ahead and start with that, okay? So now I'm going to take the camera and put it over here so y'all can see the stove. I'm going to go ahead and put the stove on pretty high, okay? Because we don't really have a lot of time now, uh, especially with Instagram. They're shortening up the IGTV to 10 minutes, I believe. So I really have to be quick on these uh, meal prep hacks. So with that said, stove is on high. We're going to go ahead and open this up. When it comes to the macros, it's pretty good. A half a cup of the beefless crumbles is about three grams of fat, three grams of carbohydrates, and 12 grams of protein, okay? So what we're gonna do is do a whole cup, all right? We're gonna put a whole cup right here, go ahead and put it down there, all right? While that's hot, we're gonna cover it so we can get a lot of heat already and get this started cooking, okay? We want a lot of heat first. Now what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and grab some tomato sauce as well, because this is the main ingredient for the Sloppy Joes, okay? Now I'm gonna grab some of the vegetables from behind, which I forgot to get some uh, bell peppers as well, but we can go ahead and work with what we got. So I wanna go ahead and chop up some white mushrooms, and the mushrooms could be any type of mushrooms, okay? Really doesn't have to be that specific, but like I said before, mushrooms are really good for vitamin D, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and chop this up into pieces. All right, I have to be quick with these. I'm gonna chop them up, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there, all right? And then next, what we're gonna do is grab some onions, okay? When it comes to the onions, they're already pre-chopped, okay? Because what I do when I do these uh, meal prep packs is I chop up a lot of onions anyway. I eat a lot of onions in the first place. We're gonna do a half a cup. Go ahead and throw that in there, okay? Start letting it saute and mix up and start melting. But if you're going to go, if you want your meals to be fast and quick, go ahead. If you're already chopping up an onion, chop the rest up and then put it in a, in a meal prep box, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away. Grab some bell peppers because one of, one of the things I like to say is that when we use some of these alternative meats, like you're not getting a lot of micronutrients because it's processed, okay? And the only thing I see here is about, you're getting some iron, all right? You get about 25% of your daily value when it comes to iron for each half cup. So that means I'm getting about 50% of my daily value using a whole cup of the beefless crumbles, okay? So I got a little bit of nutrients from that. And that's mostly from because this is made from, uh, let's see, where's uh, pea protein, okay? Mostly made from pea protein. So again, most of the iron from that, okay? That's why vegetables, you know, has a lot of nutrients in it, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and chop up these uh, bell peppers as well. And this is going to add more uh, nutritional value to my meal, okay? So that's why I add in all these other vegetables. And I'm telling you, when you chop up like, um, like bell peppers, mushrooms, onions, these are really high in nutrients, okay? So this is something that you really want to incorporate in your meal. Don't be lazy and keep the, keep the veggies and the fruits out because bell pepper is considered a fruit, okay? So you definitely don't want to leave these out. Add them in as best as possible, especially if you're going to use some processed foods, okay? You want to add in a lot of vegetables into the meals. It adds more flavor, number one. And number two, you get a lot more nutrients out of it as well. So I want to go ahead and put some bell peppers in here too, all right? While this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start stirring it up a little bit so it doesn't stick to the pan. Now, as you see, I'm not really using any oil. There's no need to, okay? You can just use 
some of the water from the vegetables, okay? And also, from the meatless crumbles, since it's um, frozen, it's going to defrost, okay? Now, I'm mixing this up so it doesn't stick, okay? It's sticking a little bit because I do have it on pretty high, but like I said, we're in a rush, and this is a fast meal prep hack, all right? So we're just trying to make this as fast as possible with the limited time that we have. Now it's time to go ahead and clean up just a tiny bit, all right? Oh, look, trash can's here. All right, you guys, and then I'm going to do the tomato sauce. So when it comes to tomato sauce, I highly recommend getting pre-made tomato sauce, okay? And then what we're going to do, it says a half a cup, all right, is one serving, and that's all we need, okay? Because with tomato sauce, um, the nutrients can get high really fast if you don't really measure it out, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add that in there, and again, stir it up some more, okay? Stir it up some more, get the tomato sauce in there. And this is more to try to keep the calories low as well, okay? So that's why I'm trying to keep everything low as possible because Sloppy Joe's, if you just make it and wing it, the calories and the carbs can get really, like really high, okay? So I really try to make sure keeping it, everything as low as possible. So if you're dieting, if you're trying to lose some weight, it can be somewhat possible to add this in within your, within your diet, all right? Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead, grab the, wheat, the whole wheat bread, and we're going to toast it just a little bit. So how we're going to toast this is right here through the air fryer, okay? Hope you all can see me. We're going to just pop it in here, and just for like maybe a minute, okay? The air fryer actually works very fast, all right? Let me just make sure we're here. And then to add in the last piece, we're going to do some barbecue sauce. Now this is Sir, Sir Servita barbecue sauce. As you can see, it says it's calorie free. All right, in the back, there's really no nutrients, no calories in there. So we're going to use this to give it a little bit more spice in the um, sloppy joe. Okay. So and the best thing about this, it gives it a little bit more flavor. We'll mix that up some more. And right now, it's already pre, it's pretty much done, okay? And what I'm gonna do to add a little bit more nutrients to it is some nutritional yeast. You can never forget some nutritional yeast. This is where you're gonna get a lot of your B12s. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit in here. Get a lot of your B12s from here. And then as well, one last thing is some garlic, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, add some garlic in there. And that's pretty much it, you guys. The, everything seems pretty much ready to go. I like using a lot of garlic. Put this on the side. Start mixing it up some more. And that bread should be ready by now. I'm just going to taste it. Just to make sure everything's cooked. All right. Use this garlic, this garlic spoon. All right. Let's try it out. Turn this off. It's ready. And it tastes just like sloppy joe. All right, so we're done. We're good to go. So now what we're going to do? Pop this out of the out of the air fryer, you guys. Let's go over here. Just look at time. All right, grab a plate. Let's get a nice plate here. Let's fix this camera to here so y'all can see me prep it. All right, and we're going to just use. This, all right, and place it right on top. And there you have it, is a sloppy joe, okay? And it's supposed to be sloppy, all right? It doesn't supposed to be pretty. And then I have some leftover. So look at that, you guys. It was very delicious. Made that in less than 10 minutes, you guys. Really good meal. And here's one of the best things about this, uh, about this meal. Uh, when it comes to the protein, it's about 37 grams of protein. 60 grams of carbs and 13 grams of fat. Now, if you want to lower the carbs, you could always use a lettuce wrap instead or put this on top of a salad, all right? But with that said, this is another fast meal prep hack. If you like this video, please comment down below and, and press the like button and share, share, share this recipe to friends and families so they can have some meat alternatives and be healthy and strong. See you guys later.